Hello and welcome. If you'd like to take a look at the new Windows 8 preview, but don't have a spare computer and certainly don't want to risk overwriting your current Windows installation, one possible solution that will give you a preview is to install the Windows 8 software uh, in a virtual machine. Uh, and for this I'm going to recommend you use VirtualBox. It's free, open source, uh, and it actually happens to work at least um, uh, fairly well with the new Windows 8 preview. Uh, so a couple of things you need to get going. Uh, first of all, you're going to want to visit the um, uh, VirtualBox site. Uh, that's at virtualbox.org. Uh, it's available for Windows, OS X, Linux, and Solaris hosts. Uh, so pick your operating system. I happen to be um, demonstrating this on a Mac uh, OS X, but uh, it works identically under Windows. So select either the um, uh, Windows version or the OS X version, depending on what your host computer is. Uh, get that loaded and fired up. The second thing you want to do is download the Windows 8 release preview, um, but you want the ISO, not the release preview. So if you go to the current download site, uh, you're going to see something like this. Uh, this could change over the next few days, but I'm going to tell you what to look for. Uh, it says download Windows 8 release preview. Uh, that's actually not what you want. If you look at the fine print under the download Windows 8 release preview button, don't click that. That's not what you want uh, because that's going to try to install it over your existing operating system. What you want instead is this ISO format. So see if you can find the link to the ISO format page. Uh, and I'm going to click this. Uh, and now you can see that we've got a release preview ISO uh, image. The ISO image is actually um, uh, an image of the installation DVD, and we'll use that in VirtualBox uh, to get a virtual machine going that you can run without um, overwriting anything on your computer or without risking your computer. Uh, so take a look down here at the ISO images, uh, two available for English. 64-bit uh, and 32-bit. You're going to need to get the 32-bit version. Uh, that's the only one that's going to work right now with VirtualBox. So go ahead and download that. Note that it's a very large file. It's two and a half gigabytes. So depending on your connection, that could take quite a while to run. Uh, once you've got that downloaded, uh, save it off on your desktop someplace else where you can find it. And then we'll get going with VirtualBox. So let me close out Firefox here. And I've got uh, VirtualBox uh, running. Here's the virtual box um, uh, screen uh, as it comes when you uh, first install it. Uh, and what we're going to do is we're going to create a new virtual machine. And what this is going to do is this is going to create an isolated sandbox using a, um, a, a computer file that's going to look to your um, system like a separate hard drive. Uh, and so you can run the um, uh, new Windows 8 preview software uh, in, this, in this virtual machine, in this box, um, uh, without having to worry about harming your computer or overwriting anything. Uh, so we're going to get started. Uh, click New for New Virtual Machine. Uh, and it's going to go through a wizard here. A uh, wizard will guide you through the steps. Uh, so we'll just go through, uh, basically, for the first part of this, you're going to take all the defaults. So continue. Uh, I'm going to give this a name, Win8. Nothing too fancy here. Uh, make sure that the operating system is Microsoft Windows, and note that um, uh, Windows 8 is recognized here uh, in the selections. Be sure to choose Windows 8. Um, I've heard reports that the 64-bit is just not working yet, so uh, you would have downloaded the 30-bit. Uh, just pick Windows 8 here. Uh, go ahead and continue. It needs at least a gigabyte of memory, uh, and I think it's going to default to that. If not, uh, you want 1024 over there in the memory. Um, we're going to um, create a startup disk that's a, that's a new hard disk, and, and this actually is just a file on your hard drive that looks to the virtual machine like it's a, like it's a hard disk. Um, uh, 25 is probably a good, uh, good number here for this preview. Uh, it needs to be at least 16 is my understanding, uh, but go ahead and um, select 25, um, and it will start out only as big as it needs to be and then get bigger as you need it. Um, you have a couple of choices on, on compatibility here, uh, unless you're going to also run this under VMware or um, uh, some other kind of parallels or something. Uh, the uh, default VDI virtual box disk image uh, is a good choice there. Click continue. Uh, dynamically allocated, this is just what I was just mentioning about uh, the, the, the file size uh, starting as big as it needs to be and then getting bigger. Um, you might get a little bit of performance increase if you went ahead with thick size from the start, um, but it's not going to be um, it's not going to be tremendously noticeable. Click continue. Uh, this kind of refreshes um, uh, a couple of uh, uh, choices that you've made. Uh, the location is going to be Win8. It'll create a Win8 
folder for this um, virtual machine um, in, in the default file folder for VirtualBox. Uh, and then it uh, reiterates the size of the disk here, which we selected as 25 gigabytes. Uh, it summarizes this for you. Um, uh, make sure that's to your liking. Go ahead and click Create. Um, create again. Summary. Uh, and this creates the basic machine. Now we're going to need to take a look at settings. Uh, we'll go through those. It's powered off. Leave that powered off for the time being. Uh, go to settings here. Uh, and we'll go through the options. This um, uh, general uh, is uh, the name that you selected, the operating system. Uh, this should just confirm uh, what you've already entered. Um, and the description. Uh, you can enter a description if you like. Uh, system confirmed that you have uh, a gigabyte of memory here. Uh, this is the boot order for devices. You probably just want to leave that alone. Processor. Um, one processor um, is going to be fine. Um, execution cap 100%. You can leave that default. Um, this will usually default to checked. Uh, you can leave that checked. Um, physical address extension. Um, uh, and it's a good idea to leave that checked. Uh, for display, um, this confirms 128 megabytes of video memory. Um, you could you could bump that up, but I, I'm thinking for this preview, um, uh, you probably don't need to do that. You can also enable the 2D video acceleration. Um, uh, you don't have a remote display. Storage just confirms the um, 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 devices you have, the, the hard drive and so on. Um, we're going to take a look at this IDE controller. This is your CD drive, uh, which is now empty. Uh, and what we need to do is we need to load that ISO file we downloaded from the Microsoft site uh, into the CD drive. So when we boot it, it will start installing. Uh, so go ahead and click the uh, CD image uh, next to this um, CD drive selection there. And we're going to choose a virtual um, CD DVD disk file. Uh, and now's where we need to navigate um, to where we saved off that file from Microsoft. This is it as the Windows 8 release preview, 32-bit uh, English ISO. Uh, so go ahead and, and select that uh, and click Open. Uh, and now you can see that the Windows 8 release preview has been effectively installed in the uh, uh, in the CD and the CD drive. Um, you can take a look at the other options here. Um, network, um, you definitely want um, this attached to NAT. That's network address translation uh, to make sure you get an internet connection. That just piggybacks um, the um, uh, virtual machine um, network card onto your host computer's network card uh, and will attach to the internet that way. Uh, ports and everything, of course, it depends on, on um, um, uh, what, what your configuration of your host computer is. Um, you can enable the serial port, um, USB controllers, and so on. Um, you probably don't have to do anything with that. Um, shared folders um, uh, are folders that you can share between the uh, um, host and virtual machine. I'm going to recommend you don't do anything with that for this preview. Uh, click OK, and we're really ready to go at this point. So go ahead and click Start. Uh, you're going to see several messages like this pop up while this starts. Um, this is referring to the auto capture keyboard. Um, if, if you don't, if you don't click off this message, it's going to appear several times. Um, during the installation, there are times when the mouse will work in both the virtual machine and your desktop, and times when it might only work one or the other. If your mouse happens to get caught inside the virtual machine uh, while the installation is going on, uh, note that there's a release key on this particular Mac. It's the left um, uh, left command key. It, it probably is something like Control um, uh, Control Shift or Control Alt on the on the uh, PC. So take a look and see what your release key is. And and if your mouse happens to get stuck during the installation, uh, that will release it. I'm going to uh, select to not show this message again, uh, and hopefully we won't be bothered by it during the installation. Uh, so Windows is now starting, and it will go through this installation routine. Um, this is almost all automated. I'll show you a little bit of it. Mostly I'm going to pause the recording. Um, altogether, this is going to take about half an hour. Uh, depends on the speed of your machine and some other factors. Uh, there's certainly one portion about halfway through uh, where it appears for all intents and purposes like it's locked up. Uh, it, it probably hasn't, and it's, it just shows the same screen uh, for about 15 minutes. Uh, and here we go with our mouse point integration message. Uh, again, I'm going to click uh, do not show this message again. You can just ignore those. 
Uh, anyway, so give this give this some time and be aware that there are some places where it's going to look like it's hung. Um, give it plenty of time. Uh, we're going to um, uh, go through the, the first installation parameters now, English, English, of course, you can select something else if you'd like. Keyboard or input method is US keyboard. Uh, I'm going to click next on that. I'm going to click install now. Setup is starting. Now I think when you get this loaded, you're going to find that um, uh, this does give you a good preview of Windows 8. Um, and um, uh, But it's going to run slower, so you're not going to be able to do any fancy benchmarking or anything. Uh, right now it's asking for the key. If, if we go back to the um, download page, I probably should have mentioned this uh, when we were there. But I'm going to go back to uh, the download page. And if you'll look down here uh, where you got the downloads, um, it's got a product key here. Uh, you're going to have to manually type this in. You're not going to be able to cut and paste it, but this is the key that you're looking for here, uh, and this is the product activation key. Uh, so let me um, uh, pull this pull this window down so I can see both at the same time. So now we can see that down there, uh, and we're going to have to uh, type this in manually. All right, we've got that entered. We'll click next. Uh, so you need to accept the license terms. Uh, of course, it's Microsoft. You always have to accept the license terms. Uh, click Next. Uh, we're going to need to do a custom install Windows only uh, because we don't have an existing Windows system on here, so there's no files or settings um, to move along. So select uh, Custom, Install Windows Only, Advanced. It's not really advanced, but that's just what it says. Um, you only have the one drive to choose from, and it's actually not a drive. Remember, it's this disk file, so you're not doing anything to your host system or your host system's partitions here. Uh, this is just going to install this in this com uh, virtual computer file. Uh, so go ahead and click Next. Uh, now it's uh, starting the installation. Um, your computer will restart several times. I, I counted uh, two restarts. It uh, might take a while, yes. The uh, whole process is going to take about um, a half an hour, um, including a long section where it, it, it sure looks like it's hung to me, but um, uh, it eventually gets through it. Uh, getting files ready for installation. I'm going to go ahead and pause the recording now, um, and we'll come back. If, if there are any interesting screens that show up, I'll, I'll bring you back. Um, but we'll um, uh, pause it now uh, and come back when this automatic uh, installation routine uh, completes. And we're back. Uh, that took about um, oh, close to a half an hour, rebooted a couple of times, looked like it was hung as I mentioned before, um, but it eventually will come to this point. Uh, so I'm going to run through the um, uh, initialization, personalization uh, routine for you quickly couple of choices to make. Go ahead and click in this box, uh, give the PC a name, uh, probably just use um, uh, letters and numbers for that, no spaces. Um, I'll, do, I'll choose uh, something simple, Win8. Um, and down here we'll, we'll click Next. You may need to adjust this window um, so you can see all of it here, um, depending on your screen settings. I have this set to a fairly low resolution. Uh, to make the movie, so uh, you should be fine on your own computer with this. Uh, so anyway, the express settings, um, I'm going to recommend you, you choose the express settings, uh, certainly for this uh, virtual machine installation. Um, you can always change any of that stuff later, um, but it just makes it for a quicker install. So go ahead and, and use express. Um, it wants you to sign into a Windows um, uh, 8 account, Microsoft account for Windows 8. Um, you can choose whether to do that at this point, whether you want to wait till you, um, you know, perhaps actually upgrade to Windows 8 later. Um, in the meantime, um, you can go ahead and sign in without a Microsoft uh, account. Um, I will say that um, several of the applications, the demo applications, are still going to want you to enter a Microsoft account in order to take a look at those. So uh, you can decide what you want to do here. I'm going to sign in uh, without a um, Microsoft account. Um, and if you do sign out uh, in with, without a Microsoft account, uh, you need to create a local account, which is um, what you probably already have on your current computer, which is a username and a password. Uh, so I'm just going to say uh, user1. And uh, uh, for my purposes, I'm just going to type in the word password. Password to confirm. 
And then where it says password hint, the um, password hint um, can't contain the password. Uh, so I'm just going to type in the word hint. Um, you probably want to be a little bit more conscious about security if you enter this on a, um, uh, a production system, but we're not too concerned about this. Go ahead and uh, hit finish uh, here, and then um, this is actually going to take uh, several minutes. Uh, so I'm going to, uh, again, pause the, uh, uh, pause the video, uh, and we'll come back when the uh, start screen loads. And here we are at the new uh, new start screen uh, app screen. This is the uh, page that first loads. What I'm going to do now so that you can see how this process looks is I'm actually going to reboot the machine uh, so you can see what that's going to look like. Uh, and to do that, we need to bring over the context menu. So I'm uh, clicking down here in the bottom right uh, to bring up this context menu down here. Um, and I'm going to go to settings. Uh, and you power off the machine here at settings. Uh, there's a power switch here. Uh, so I'm going to um, uh, first shut it down, and then I'll show you the restart and login. And this will take a few seconds, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to snip the boring parts out of the, uh, out of the final cut of the movie. Uh, but this process will take a few minutes. It works a little bit slower in the virtual machine than it will uh, natively installed uh, once the uh, release, final release copy comes out. Now we see how it looks in um, uh, VirtualBox. Uh, with the machine shut down. Uh, and of course you may uh, have other machines here as well. You simply need to highlight the machine you want to start. Uh, go ahead and um, uh, select it uh, to highlight it. Uh, click Start. And then this process will take a couple of minutes. Uh, but it will um, uh, start up the um, uh, virtual machine window and uh, um, load, the, uh, load the new Windows 8 preview. Uh, don't don't press any key here. That would be if you wanted to boot from CD or DVD, but it'll boot from the uh, virtual hard disk uh, at this point. Uh, so just let that uh, time out. And Windows begins to boot. There's a section in here where there's just a black screen um, for uh, a period of time, uh, and it, it may look like it's hung, but it probably hasn't. So just be patient and let it go. This is the uh, login screen uh, that you get, the default login screen. Uh, I believe that you can change this later with personalizations. Uh, and then to log in, go ahead and click this icon down here under the uh, date and time. Uh, that brings up the user prompt. Go ahead and enter your password. And now the start screen loads again. So a couple of things to point out. There, there are actually run-throughs on the web now. I'm not going to spend a lot of time uh, demonstrating this. Uh, you do have a desktop down here uh, that looks um, uh, sort of like the old desktop. Uh, here's where you have, um, excuse me, um, here's where you have Internet Explorer uh, access to your files. Uh, you should probably try Internet Explorer. Make sure that you have Internet connectivity in this virtual machine. Uh, and then, of course, your uh, file system. Um, we'll give that a click so you can see what that looks at. Uh, that just looks like the old Windows, um, uh, my computer, my computer screen. So that part should be familiar to you. Uh, to get back to the start menu, uh, go ahead and, and bring up, uh, move your uh, mouse cursor down to the lower right here um, and bring up the start menu. Uh, and that'll appear here. Uh, and we can go back to start. Uh, and of course, you can, you can um, try these out. Um, Sorry about the the um, uh, Mac menu coming up down here at the bottom. It, it's so close on this screen here that it, it comes up. But you can you can scroll this over to the right to see the rest of this um, and get at any of get at any of these apps. Note also that if you right click on the um, anywhere on the start page here, uh, you get to an all apps uh, screen. Uh, and again, you can you can move this um, scroll bar back and forth to see. Uh, these are all the apps that are installed. Um, many of these are the same kinds of applications that you had on earlier versions of Windows. Uh, so give those a shot. And again, when you want to shut down, uh, recall that we go to settings, uh, and then the power off is here. Uh, so that's just a very brief introduction to the um, uh, to the uh, Windows 8 uh, desktop. Uh, that's enough to get you started, and uh, you can Google around the web to, to see other walkthroughs or maybe find suggestions of things you might do or try here. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks much for watching, uh, and come back and visit again soon.